Magandang araw mga classmate. Ngayong araw, ang pag-uusapan natin ay kung paano mag-factor ng mga polynomials. Pero bago tayo mag-umpisa, alamin muna natin ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng factoring. So factoring is a process of finding the factors or finding what to multiply together to get an expression. Okay, simplihan natin. So let's say, uh, ang ating uh, number na given is, uh, let's say, uh, 16. When we say uh, factoring as defined, so ito yung process ng paghahanap ng mga factors or numbers na magre-resulta sa 16. So one of the uh, possible factors ng 16 ay pwedeng 8 times 2. So, another one, pwedeng uh, 16 times 1. Or, pwede rin namang 4 times 4. So, etong lahat ng ito, so, ang tawag sa kanya ay factors of 16. Okay. So, in this lesson, we are going to try to factor... Uh, polynomials using the greatest common factor or the GCF through prime factorization o yung tinatawag na listing method. Okay, so paano naman ginagawa ang prime factorization? So balikan natin yung nauna nating example. So we have 16. So kung isusulat natin ang kanyang mga factors gamit ang mga prime numbers, so, pwede lang natin gamitin ay 2. So, balikan natin. Kasi based dun sa mga factors, we have uh, 2 and 1 as prime numbers. So, ibig sabihin, ang pwede lang natin gamitin na uh, factors ng 16 through uh, listing or prime factorization ay 2. So, 2 Ang factors niya, pwedeng isulat as 2 times 2. So, this is 4. When we multiply again to 2, so this is uh, 8. And then, multiply uli natin sa 2. So, the result is 16. So, using uh, prime factorization, the factors of 16 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. So, i-apply natin yung uh, pagkuha ng GCF through listing or factorization with the following pair of monomials. Okay. So, unahin natin yung uh, number 1. So, let's say we have to find the uh, GCF of 9x and 27x by listing or uh, prime factorization. So first, so ano-ano yung magiging uh, factors ng 9? So pwedeng maging factors ng 9 ay 3 times 3. Although another factor ng uh, 9 or factors ng possible factors ng 9 is 9 times 1. But 9 is not a prime number. So, itong process na ginagawa natin is with the use of prime factorization. And then, factor ng x is x. Another one. So, let's proceed with 27x squared. So, prime factorization uli. So, pwedeng 27 times 1. Pero, ang 27, again, is not a prime number. Kasi, pwede nating uh, i-multiply siya as factors ng 9 times 3. Again, but 9 is not a prime number. So, ibig sabihin, so, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 uli. 27. So, this is the uh, factors ng 27. 
And then, yung x squared, so kapag pinactor natin siya, will result to x times x. So, paano kinukuha yung GCF? So, mula sa mga nakalista nating factors ng 9x at 7x, so, i-identify natin ano ba yung uh, magkaparehas na meron sa 9x at 27x. So, meron silang tigdalawang uh, 3. So, kukunin natin dito sa 27. Then, meron din silang x sa 9x at kukunin natin yung isang x dito sa 27. X squared. And then, so, ang ating magiging GCF ay kapag na-multiply natin yung 3, yung magkakaparehas nila, 3 and x. So, ang GCF natin, is 3 times 3 is 9 times x is 9x. So, meaning, the GCF of 9x and 27x squared is 9x. Okay. So, proceed tayo sa number 2. Again, susulat so natin yung uh, factors ng 18ab so, ang gagamitin natin, mga prime numbers. So, pwede natin gamitin ang 3 times 3 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 is 18, times A times B. So, yan yung magiging factors ng 18AB. So, let's proceed sa 10 b squared So ang factors ng 10 so sa mga prime number so pwede nating 5 and 2 And then ang b squared is the result of b times b So from the list of factors ng 18ab and 10 b squared so identify natin kung ano yung uh, magkaparehas so, ang meron sila na greatest common factor ay 2 and then isang B. So, kapag isinulat natin yon, so we have product of 2 and product of B. So, meaning to say, ang GCF ng 18AB at ng 10B squared ay 2B. Okay. So, let's proceed with the third one. So, this time, we have 14AB squared and negative 12A squared times B squared. So, unahin natin uli yung 14AB squared. So, we have to list down again all the uh, factors or prime factors ng 14. So, we have 7 times 2. And then, times A. And then, so, B squared is the result when we multiply B times B. Okay, so proceed tayo. How about negative 12a squared times b squared or negative 12a squared b squared. So, factors ng negative 12, so may negative siya, so ilalagay na natin sa unahan, uh, 2 times uh, 2 is 4 times 3. And then, ang a squared ay a times a. And then, ang b squared ay b times b. So, again, identify natin yung mga magkakaparehas nilang uh, factors. So, meron tayong 2 dito. And then, 2 sa negative 12a squared, b squared. So, another one, pwedeng a isa dito. At isa dito sa 
pangalawa nating uh, monomial. Then, so merong dalawang B rito. So, kukunin din natin yon. So, kapag sinulat natin ang kanilang uh, common factors or greatest common factors, we have the product of 2 times A times B times B. So, meaning, the GCF of 14A B squared and negative 12A squared B squared is equal to 2A B squared. Okay. So, I hope ay malinaw sa inyo yung pagkuha ng GCF gamit ang listing method kasi this will be useful sa mga susunod nating example. So, this time, we're going to factor the uh, binomial applying the uh, GCF or finding first their GCF. Okay. So, ang GCF uli nung ating uh, 27x squared plus 9x. So, kung babalikan natin dun sa unang example, ang GCF nila ay 9x. Is 9x. So, this time, pwede na nating i-factor yung ating binomial gamit yung kanyang GCF. So, in factoring, we'll just list down the uh, GCF and then multiply it. Actually, this will be uh, the reverse of the process of distributive property or distribution by, mul by multiplication. So, ano yung magiging laman ng ating parenthesis? So, unahin natin yung first term. So, yung first term natin, 27x squared, try nating i-divide sa 9x. So, 27 divided by 9, the answer is 3. And then, x squared divided by x, so eto makakancel is equal to x. So, ibig sabihin, ang first term natin is 3x. Ulitin ko, classmate. So, itong ginagawa natin ay reverse ng distribution or multiplication by distribution. Okay. So, next, divide natin yung second term sa ating GCF. So, 9x or 9 divided by 9 1 and x divided by uh, x so makakancel na natin siya kasi uh, still the answer is 1 and then 1 times 1 is 1 so ibig sabihin 9x over 9x is positive 1 so ibig sabihin the factored form of 27x squared plus 9x using their GCF is 9x times the quantity of 3x plus 1. So, ganyan natin, pinapaktor ang uh, polynomial, specifically in this uh, example, ay yung ating uh, binomial. Okay, subukan pa natin. So, in this case, unahin natin hanapin ano ba ang GCF ng 7x squared y at ng negative 35xy cube. So, ang kanilang uh, GCF ay 7xy. So, para maintindihan kung paano uli ginagawa o nakukuha yung GCF, balikan nyo yung ating uh, first three example. Ano? Kung saan na uh, through listing, kukunin natin yung kanilang GCF. So, kapag isinulat natin this time ang kanilang factored form, so ganun uli, yung ating uh, first term na 7x squared y, di-divide natin sa kanilang GCF. So, 7, ito cancel. So, x squared divided by x, so maka-cancel ito. And then, y divided by y, cancel kasi that is equivalent to 1. So, ang natira lang sa atin is x. So, ibig sabihin, when we factored 
out 7xy dun sa ating uh, binomial. So, ang first term natin inside the parenthesis is x. Okay. So, proceed tayo dun sa second term. So, ang second term natin is negative 35x y cube divided by the GCF 7xy. So, 35 divided by 7. So, we have negative 5 x divided by x, so maka-cancel na natin to. So, y cubed divided by y, so eto cancel. So, this will become y squared. So, meaning to say, ang second term natin inside the parenthesis is negative 5 y squared. So, again, when we uh, factor the uh, given binomial 7x squared y, minus 35x y cube using 7xy as their GCF. So, the factored form is 7xy times the quantity of x times 5y squared. So, tip lang, classmate, ano? For us to check kung tama yung ating ginawang factoring, pwede nyong uh, i-multiply si 7xy kay x at kay negative 5y squared. So, dapat ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay yung ating given na binomial. So, that's why uh, sinabi ko kanina na ang uh, factoring ng ating polynomial using their GCF is the reverse ng ating uh, multiplication through distribution. Okay. So, that's it for today's lesson. So, I hope ay meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito and make sure to uh, share this video to our classmates o sa iba pa ninyong kaklase para mas marami pa tayong matulungan. Until next time!